So after shots, I have Snapchat, which is pretty normal app, I think. WordPress, this is the new blog loving app, and I talked about this in my last phone app kind of thing. <laughs> and this app I actually really, really love. If you're an avid blog reader or you love to read things online, this is a great app because you can follow blogs on here and it'll tell you when the people that you follow post or you can comment. You can have your very own um, profile on here. It's just a really good app overall, especially if you're an avid reader because it lets you know when there's new things to read online. So I really enjoy this app. I use it very often. Next, I have Pinterest and Tumblr, which Tumblr, I was surprised to find out that some people don't know what a Tumblr is. It's basically an, a blog. Um, now, you can use it to do written posts or photo posts or posts like these that have little GIFs on them. It's just an overall really good place to have a blog. Anybody can sign up. It's free. Um, so yeah, so that's on here. Very similar to Tumblr and Pinterest. I also have We Heart It on my main page. We Heart It is very, very similar to Pinterest. Um, but I just really adore going through pictures. So sometimes I just kind of have a binging night where this is all I do. Nothing wrong with that, right? <laughs> so We Heart It is another app that I really love to do if I just want to kill some time and look at pretty makeup shots. Now on my second page here, I have some other things that are pretty self-explanatory. I have my phone, my bank, um, the weather, Paylocity, and the daily boxes are actually two things that I have due to my work. Paylocity is just something that we use at work to communicate with each other. Now daily boxes is actually pretty cool. Now we have to take a class um, through my work and basically you kind of go through and rate yourself each day on this and it's supposed to help you grow as a person. So ease for exercise. Oh, that's A. <laughs> ease is for exercise. A is for achievement. R is reju rejuvenation and N is for nutrition. I haven't finished today, so we'll do yesterday's because that's normally how I like to do it. Now anyone can download this. So if you guys want to kind of help yourself set goals, this is a great app for that. So yesterday for exercise, I went to the movies and kind of walked around the mall. So I'll give myself like a two and a half because I didn't really do too much walking, I felt like, but I did walk around the mall a few times. Achievement, I don't know. I went and saw a movie I really wanted to see, so I'll give myself a 2.5. Rejuvenation, I slept in, so I'm going to say a three. And nutrition, um, I don't remember what we ate. Oh, we ate pizza. Ooh, as much as good as pizza is, I'm going to only give myself a 1.5 because I didn't really eat very healthy. So I'm going to save it up here. And yes, and let's see. Great job. Secret to yourself is found in your daily routine. So then for tomorrow morning, I can do my daily boxes for here. So it's just a fun thing to do just to kind of keep track of stuff. In that similar mind, Eatly is very much like that. I've showed you guys Eatly before, where you go through, take pictures of your meals and rate how healthy it is. So this is my last meal that I did, which was on February 15th. So I've been slacking on this a little bit, as you guys can see. But I had eggs and blueberries that day for breakfast. So this is just nice. And you can rate other people's food on here too. So like someone's eating what looks like bread. Mm, it's okay. Not the best. <laughs> Chicken cutlet. Mm. So that's how you do that. And that's a great way if you're kind of trying to watch what you eat just because you have to take pictures of it every single time you eat it. And if you're guilty snacking and you don't want to take a picture of it, you probably shouldn't eat it. Next, I have Gmail and Mail, which are pretty self-explanatory. In here, I have my photo apps. Now, I have Free Prints, which is an amazing app if you guys have never tried it. Um, basically, ooh, ooh. Uh, uh. <laughs> basically this allows you to print I think it's eight yeah well I have 85 free prints for this month so I need to print some stuff but I think it's 25 a month and you can sign up on here for free and you can print from here all you have to do is pay for shipping um, 25 photos and it mail it to your door so if you guys are like me and you don't have a printer for photos or you don't have really nice quality paper they will print it for you and they mail it to you so it's really nice because instead of going to Walgreens or something and you're like oh my gosh I have to go down there it's gonna be so expensive per print this is only like two dollars and you get 25 prints so that's a really great thing I've been really enjoying that app this is hyperlapse um, this is a app for Instagram now this one's pretty fun it's pretty similar to some other apps I've seen where you can, yeah, <laughs> record stuff and it makes it fast. 
So that's a pretty fun app. I haven't really used it very much, but I keep it on here just in case. <laughs> Next, I have Facetune. This app is really great if you want to um, add in detail into your photo. So yeah, we'll just take a picture of this, what I have from my background today. We'll say use photo. And you can go in, oop, come on. You can go in with things like detailing. So let's say I want details. I'll zoom in real close, and I'll say I want this part to be really super detailed in my photo. Ah, detail, detail. Then you zoom out, and you can tell where it's been detailed. Um, you can do that similarly with other things. We have a whiten part, so you can go through and whiten the background if you want to. Make everything shiny. This is just such a fun app to use, especially if you like posting photos to Instagram or anything. It's a nice editor. InstaSize is another great one for Instagram. Basically, you can take any photo. <laughs> we'll take this one of my friend the other day. And it shrinks it down and cuts it so that way Instagram will take the full photo. That way you don't have to crop anything. So this is one I really like, this app. Whoops. Now, these apps I feel like everyone's talked about. This is Visocam and Afterlight. These are probably some of the most popular apps just for photo editing and filters on Instagram. This app is Shift. This one is a new app for me, so I haven't really gotten to try it. As far as I've understood, it's basically just, yeah. So you can change the colors of things. Add things darker, lighter, if you like lighting in your photos. You can make it bigger. So this app is just like way fun just in general, <laughs> but I haven't gotten a chance to use it. This is Split Pick. Once again, this is just one of those ones that I haven't gotten to try, but you can kind of go through and just edit them like that. So we'll just put that there and put this there and this there. So then you have a little collage of some stuff. <laughs> Then Pick Frames is very similar. I've been trying to decide between the two, but um, Wordswag and Ronana, I think is how you say it, are very, very similar to each other. You can add words or little doodles onto your pictures before you post them. I really enjoy this for things like Instagram and Twitter. Um, I just think that they're nifty ones to have. So like you can select that one and you can see, you can say, hello, see the clothes. And then continue, hello. So it's just fun. Repost is one that I really like. If you see one of those photos on Instagram, let's say you're trying to enter a contest and it's like, you must repost this picture, use this one. Um, you can kind of go through and look at your Instagram feed and you can be like, oh look, I have to repost this one. So you click repost and it'll link it to your Instagram and it'll automatically put it, the names like this one, I'm taking from Kat Von D, so it'll give them credit in the picture. I really like that. It's very nifty, just in case to have. Um, this one is Vimo. And to tell you the truth, I haven't even used this app yet. I know it's a photo app, but I haven't even gotten to play with it, so we won't talk about that one much. So that's all that stuff, guys. And then in shopping, these are pretty self-explanatory. I have eBay, Amazon, PayPal, Ulta, and Sephora, of course. Now, Depop is such a fun app to have. It's very similar to some of those other used clothing store apps. I just like Depop because the shipping isn't too crazy and the um, amount of money that Depops take for themselves isn't so bad. So this is just another one of those ones that you basically buy someone else's stuff. So... I love this app, very fun. Find some vintage things on there. These are some games I have. I have Heads Up by Ellen DeGeneres, which is just way fun, and I have Threes. I have Google Maps because I get lost a lot, and I have Zillow on here because me and my honey have been trying to find a house. And that's basically it. I have some things in here, and if you guys have been wondering what keyboard I'm using, I am using this one, it's called Swift Key. Um, so you can do stuff. We'll just open this up real quick. And we'll just come down here. So SwiftKey, you can do stuff like this. Hello or hi. And it's predictive. So if you don't want to, I can put hi mama, yes, or hello, or hotel. <laughs> but I like this just because my screen is so much bigger now that I can just kind of 
go like that and I don't have to sit here and go like this. So this is nice. I really like the Swift key, but that's just a personal preference. So this is all that I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching this entire video. If you guys have any questions at all or want to know um, how you guys can follow me on any of the apps that I mentioned, just look in the down bar below and I will link them there. Otherwise, thank you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye!